hidden away in the rainforests of the Democratic Republic of Congo live our closest relatives. The bonobo can be distinguished by their long legs, pink lips, and dark face. There are as few as 15,000 left in the world, and the majority of them live here, along this single bend in the Congo River. Bonobos were once thought to be the smaller cousins of the chimpanzee, but they are a vastly different species. Where chimpanzees fight and kill, bonobos are peacemakers. Dr. Amy Parrish, who has studied bonobos in zoos for 25 years, draws on evolutionary biology and gender studies to examine the origins of human behavior. Knowing about the bonobo opens up the possibilities for how we model our own evolution. In the past, we used chimpanzees and we focused on warfare, male sexual coercion of females, hunting, and male dominance. Now we have another closest living relative with a completely different pattern of behavior. Bonobos are sexy, gender fluid, peaceful, and inspiring for how we think about our own evolution over the last five million years. Bonobos are mammals, which means they are warm-blooded, have fur, and their babies drink from their mother's milk. Bonobos are also a type of mammal called primates. Primates are a group of animals that share many common characteristics, such as grasping hands and feet. They emerged as an order of animals after the dinosaurs disappeared about 65 million years ago. Within primates, bonobos, chimpanzees, and gorillas belong to a smaller group of African animals called apes. Apes are a category of mammal that have big brains, are very smart, and unlike most monkeys, they do not have tails. We humans are an ape that live in different habitats all over the world. Humans come in many skin colors and sizes, but we all originally came from Africa. 98% of our DNA is identical to bonobos and chimpanzees. Bonobos, chimpanzees, and humans last shared a common ancestor about five million years ago. Bonobos and chimpanzees then split off from each other about 2.5 million years ago. Humans are the only primates that walk bipedally or on two feet. We evolved this ability about six million years ago. Bonobos have body proportions that are similar to our earliest human ancestors. Look at the short legs and the long arms of the bonobo. Those proportions are very similar to Artipithecus and other Australopithecine ancestors. Today, many bonobos can walk on two feet when they need to. For instance, when they are carrying food. When a female bonobo carries sugar cane and runs on two feet, she looks a lot like us. Most of the time, bonobo life is peaceful and harmonious. Unlike many animals, male bonobos play with youngsters. But it's the mothers and other females in the group who raise the infants and provide them with food. Female bonobos leave the groups when they become adolescents and join new ones yet they still bond and are friendly to each other's babies. Bonobos live in big groups that contain many adult males, females, juveniles, and infants. They are usually kind toward other groups that they encounter. Just like us, bonobos sometimes get jealous when their friends play with someone else. This male tries to show off by running and dragging branches in a bluff display. See how his hair is standing on end? That makes him look bigger and is part of his display of power. Bonobos are omnivorous, mostly eating fruit, vegetables, leaves, and occasionally meat. 
They often have sex when food is present. Sex helps to reduce tension so they share food rather than fight over it. Bonobos have so much sex that they are sometimes known as the make love, not war species. Sexual behavior leads to bonding. This is particularly important for females who are not related to one another. By using sexual behavior, unrelated females are able to build friendships. They then use their power to dominate males. Unlike chimpanzees, where males are very aggressive towards females, bonobo females either ignore male aggression or actively fight back. It's exciting to me to see a close relative of ours where females are able to build coalitionary power and use it to bond with each other. They behave with unrelated females as if they are their sisters, and that's something humans can learn from. Bonobos are a magnificent animal that need our help to survive. Their habitat is disappearing as forests are logged and mined in the Democratic Republic of Congo. They are also hunted, smuggled, and eaten by humans. We must be ambassadors for our wild cousins, who have taught us about our own capacity to love and to peacefully live together. The physicist Albert Einstein once observed that our task must be to free ourselves by widening our circle of compassion to embrace all of living creation and the whole of nature and its beauty.